Hello, 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 everyone. It's Kim from KNRP here in southeastern Manitoba. It's really hot, humid day. It is currently 28 degrees Celsius, which is 34 degrees. Uh, no, 80. Let's try that again. It is 28 degrees Celsius, which is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. We have a humid humidex factor that it's 34 degrees Celsius, which is 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's kind of on the warm side for us here in Manitoba. We are not used to this heat and humidity, but summer has arrived early. Hooray! So today I would like to do clusters. I know I did clusters earlier in the week. Hey, Anne, welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's it's a warm one out there and humid. We're not used to this kind of humidity. So I know I did clusters in my book the other day, but I am in Beth's uh, mixed media crafting group on Facebook. Her link is in the box below. And I am doing a swap there. And the swap this month is clusters. So I thought I'd like to play with just some freehand clusters that are not in the book, just something interesting. So I'm going to start by weaving some paper because I like woven paper and I think it will make an interesting background for the clusters. So I'm just going to put some paper down. This is a piece of waxed paper. I have, I've ripped pieces and I've got stacks of it because I like putting it between pages in books and stuff, if that makes sense. So what's the temperature where you are, Anne? I'm just laying out the... I never remember which is the warped and the weft when you're weaving. Uh, something different color. Do I have a different color? Lighter, different color. Let's use this light purple. Eighty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's exactly what we've got. Eighty-two Fahrenheit. So we're twins weather-wise today. So when I weave paper, I like to tape down the top, just so it stays in place. It just makes it easier. That's why I'm using the waxed paper. It'll pull off nice and good. You've got low humidity though. See, we could handle it if it was a dry heat. Dry heat is always nicer. So I've got all these little strips. I had cut them out for last live when I was doing the book because I thought I would use them in the book. And I did use some, but of course, you know, you can't just cut two pieces. You have to cut 50. Hi, Pam. Welcome, welcome. 67. That's a nice temperature. I could live with 67. So I am working on clusters for the swap and Beth's group. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm just doing the backgrounds for them at the moment because I want to do them on with a, a woven paper base. So they're kind of fun. And this way... I can put anything on top because it's going to be like rainbow colors, rainbowy, with a, a bunch of different colors on it, if that makes sense. That is a lovely temp. It really is. Have you been sewing this week, Pam? I didn't get a chance to look to see if you posted a Friday sews. My daughter was here this morning. She had her truck in for an oil change at the uh, garage in town. We all seem to prefer them because they've known us forever. And it's not that we get a decent deal on repairs, but we trust them with our vehicles. Yeah, we've got a breeze too, but it's still, we've got that white fuzzy stuff, um, the seeds from some sort of trees, and it's like 
cotton, like white puffy cotton ball kind of things. It's just fluff, just absolute fluff. Oh, nice. Well, I will watch for it. My daughter is doing a, she used to be one of those paint night instructors for adults. And she worked for a company doing that as a second job for quite a while. And now she has been asked to do a kid's birthday party. So she was here this morning going, mom, I'm going to be working with age seven and eight year old kids for a birthday party. How am I going to get this stuff on the canvas? So she was doing, she had a line drawing of a dog's head and she thought that I was going to hand draw it on the canvases for her. And we all know kind of what my response was to that. I'm sure. <laughs> so um, I, cut her a stencil and she could just draw them. Yeah. These mechanics that are in the shop now are the sons of the gentleman who had the shop previously. He's still there occasionally, but not as often, but his boys are really, really good. So I don't know how many clusters I'm going to make. I'd like to do four. That way I've got a variety to choose from for what I send. I have ideas and, you know, I always have more ideas than I can shake a stick at. Separated curtains. Oh, nice, nice. So it's almost like a room divider curtain. So I'm just doing an over under weaving technique. I'm not doing anything fancy because this is just the background of the clusters that I'm doing. If that makes any sense, I think I might want one or two more verticals. We have a room divider, it's um, with <laughs> bifold doors. So that's what we use for a room divider. They're painted straight black. So I use them in the greenhouse in winter so that it warms up in there so that we can sit in there on a sunny day. That's a uh, pretty wild weaving I've got happening here, but that's okay because it'll tone down possibly with whatever the heck I decide to put on top. And I keep meaning to paint a picture on the room divider, the black, but I just, you know, haven't gotten around to it. I think we all have those round to it, don't we? Oh, see, this one's not as easy going this way. I've got them too close, I think. Give them some space, Kim. Give them some space. Under, over. Under, over, under, over. Just an under, over weave. Maybe. Come on. Are you managing to get to sleep in sometimes, Pam, with your kids home for the summer? Or are they still on an early rise schedule?
Okay, so I've got this much woven. I really like that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of these down a little bit. And these in. Come on, in you go. Come up two pairs of pants are too long. Wow, cool. Hey Beth, welcome, welcome. I am playing clusters for your swap because why? Um, I do have clusters pre-made, but I decided I wanted something really fun and wild. So I wanted woven paper background, so I'm just weaving some pages, some bits together. So when I do this, what I like to do then is take a piece of paper and glue it to the back so that they don't come apart if that makes sense just to hold it in place so I'm just going to glue those down so I'm going to do oh which way do you go I guess you go on this one so I need a bigger piece of paper there that's okay nice Had a lot of fun on your live last night, Beth. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so let's move this closer to that one. If I oh see, now that I've got it taped down, it doesn't want to move, so I'll just have to wing it. Wing it. Hey, Dean Peter, welcome, welcome. I am playing making clusters for the swap and Beth's group. So I am, I've decided that I want to do it on a woven paper background. So I'm just putting the papers together and then I am going to build up from that. And what I'll do here is I'm going to snip this one so that I can just move that up on this side. So it's a little bit tighter. Oh, not big enough. Not big enough. Kim, you're not cutting these big enough. Go away. Hi, Stacy. Welcome, welcome. No, mending's not fun. I have a friend. I'm not a seamstress. I detest sewing clothes. I have to admit that. That is one of the things that I can honestly say I get absolutely zero pleasure from sewing clothes. I don't care how funky it is. It's, it's really just not my thing. And she has a dress that she wants me to alter for her. But the thing is, is my sewing machines are broken. And I haven't got them fixed yet because they're not a high priority. Hey, Dana, welcome, welcome. So she wants this dress altered and she's got her mom's sewing machine, but I'm just procrastinating. Horribly, horribly much. You've been working in the garage all morning? Oh, you're still getting stuff off? Is that what's happening? A little bit. Yeah, mending. When my kids were little, I did a lot of mending. I darned socks. I, you know, you do what you can because kids are so rough on their clothes. But really, it's just, no, no, can't do it. No more. Okay, so I did some woven bits. I'll take the tape off and trim the edges. I like doing it on a piece of wax paper. The tape comes off really nice. And so I figured I would do four and then decide 
which goes, you know, what's happening with them. So this one gets cut here-ish. And that one gets cut there. And then I get more scrap bits to use. Yay! Hi, Ma. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. I'm just playing making the clusters for Beth's walk. And I decided I wanted to do it on uh, woven paper backgrounds. So I just finished weaving the bits together. Because I love my bits. I just love bits. There we go. So there we have four backgrounds to work on. So I kind of thought I, I need to figure out a focal point. And this is where I'm going to ask you guys. You know the kinds of stuff I do. So we have my yarn ball texture things. I'm going to get you guys to decide what's going to be my focal point. So I've got the yarn ball texture thing. I've got my umbrellas. I've got my, look, I'm doing all oranges. I have my fish. Yeah, I love the way you did those zippered pockets. That was awesome. I have these little fish clusters that I've already made. So that could, you know, be something. I have my fun words. That one's dream. I've got glee. I've got a bunch of fun words. So I've got fun words. I have my faux stitch. So I've got my um, fake postage stamps that I did. Your stuff all looks professional, Pam. I have little handmade ticket things. I have my chickens. I could do one, you know, whatever. And I've got like my painted flower things. Again, orange. So what do you think I should do as the focal point on, I could do a different focal point on each, or I could do one of my ladies. I'll paint the face on and do a lady. Flower? These ones? I have lots of flowers. They could all have flowers. Yes, all flowers. Yes. Stuck. Why are you stuck? I don't know why are you stuck. Oh, they do look nice on there, don't they? Like that. You'll agree with Jean? Okay. All right. Let's just put these bits back because 
I can. And it's a good thing to be organized, right? Kim and organized in the same sentence. <laughs> You'll agree with you. I like it. Um, funky words. Pom poms, pom poms. Little fish. Got some umbrellas. And my fish. Okay. So, of course, those are going to be at the corner. Sort of, maybe. We'll see what happens. Now, something to go underneath. You're feeling overwhelmed? I'm sorry, Jean. I would love to come help you organize. So I have this tissue paper. I'm going to use some of that because it's kind of fun just underneath because you got to layer it, right? And the rule is what, five layers? So they're going to be the same, but they're going to all turn out different anyway. We know how that happens. I'm trying to organize myself still. It's just one day. One day I will be organized. I don't know. I got too much of that double green happening. I think I want to go on this. Don't like that green together for some reason. Too much, too much, too much. Okay, so how about now I need to do a big funky leaf to go with them, with the flower. Let's grab a piece of green pinky paper. Hey, Dris, welcome, welcome. So I was playing painty papers and I've got some really cool textured greens. I think that's what I'm gonna use for the leaves for these. Yeah, organized chaos, that's, that's me too. Like by doing this, that really helped a lot. The thing, <laughs> the box of envelopes I got only had 50 in them. And I still have little mushroom containers of bits everywhere. Sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable here. Everywhere, everywhere. Because, I mean, I've got, you know, like, these things too. You know, like, you know what it's like. So as I say, I'm just going to cut leaves, like, but a big leaf. So the way I do my leaves is I always take my paper and I fold it in bits. This time I'm just going to fold it in half because I just want two large leaves. Shoebox, totes, and card. Me too. Like, my area is full of bits. Like, lots and lots of bits of things. Because I make all these bits... And then it's, what do you do with them? So I just want like a, a real fun one leaf coming out. I think one leaf's good. That's got white underneath can see the white paper underneath so I think I'm gonna move this and just live with that extra green maybe I'll just tuck this this way so it kind of covers that green we'll see something like that yeah Labeling things is a big bonus, an absolute wonderful bonus. Again, I'm just folded the paper in half, cut out a leaf shape because it's what I do.
Yeah. I've got the same thing. And look at this. See these bits? See these bits? Look, going in the garbage. Mm, garbage, yes. Yes. In the garbage they went. Okay, so now I've got a leaf. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I need one more something. 82 odd socks in it. Don't ask me. My kids would take their socks off in the middle of the backyard and they were never seen again. But 82 odd socks, I know what you mean. They just multiply. You put the laundry hamper lid down and that's all you got is odd socks. So I need something a little bit fun to go. A little bit of lace, maybe. A little bit of sparkly yarn. No. No. I will use a little bit of lace. It is cheap, cheaper to buy new tabs. Yeah, I almost took them. Could very well be. Um, I don't want a white lace, I don't think. What do you think? Is white going to be too stark? Too stark? Is it okay? I've got this fun yellow onion bag stuff. That's always fun. I think I'm going to use the onion bag stuff. You guys aren't talking to me. <laughs> So I need four chunks of this. You did yours this morning too? Yeah. I have lots of clusters made. I have, I love making clusters and that's why I'm doing that cluster book. And I thought, yeah, I could just send stuff from my cluster book, but I have so many bits and so much stuff that has to get used And then my daughter is telling me this morning when she was here getting me to figure out how she was going to put the pictures of the dogs on the canvases so these kids could paint it, that her and her friend are thinking of doing craft shows. And she goes, she's asked me all these questions. And it's like, I see that I'm going to be more involved than, you know, I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. I think those are fun. Yeah, the brightness of the background has been lost. And that was kind of part of the idea, right? Was I wanted these wonderful, bright, colorful backgrounds. But it, it's going to be, I'm going to do it so it's tough. You know, it's still quite visible. Oh, look. That's why this one's being a pain. It has to go behind. There we go. There we go. So it's definitely going to be sticking out quite a bit, Ma. It's just, I have, I'm, I'm just kind of throwing things on because I can. So that's that. So that's one, two, three, four, five layers. And then I think what I'm going to do is, they're all same but different, right? I'm mass making because I have done so many craft shows and because I have sold my stuff for so many years, I still mass make things. That's why I end up with, you know, a hundred fish. It's, it's just who I am. Yes. Do you have mice in your area? Is that why you have to have things fit tight? I have diamond dot bits. So I'm thinking that maybe down the leaf, I can add just a single row of diamond dot things on. Yeah, mice are the devil for things like that. A little bit of bling to it. Does that make sense, guys? Okay, so I'll start with this one. I can see a fair bit of white here. I've got these greens in the corner. They'll have to survive. So let's take all this stuff off. Start with the bases. Find the glue. 
just going to put a bit of glue down, put on the tissue paper. I know I don't do things everybody the way everybody else does. That's just, just kind of how things happen in my world. Yeah, sheds are a different story for sure. I like the word coal. Coal in your stocking. You're getting coal in your stocking, kids. Ooh, that's a really big piece. Okay. Beth, what size clusters am I supposed to be making? Little clusters or big clusters? Because I'm doing little ones. And this is going to go there. Like that. And this one will go like that. Envelope size. So the clusters have to be the size of an envelope or they have to fit in an envelope. Okay. Okay. You know what? I think I want to outline these leaves in black before I put them down. Cheaper envelope. Well, these are going to be little. Are they too little? Okay, thank you. Good to know. Good to know. So these aren't taking as long as I thought. I'm going to do some more. But I think these are, well, after I've, done these and played with some other ones, I'll decide which I am actually going to send off in the swap. Does that make sense? So this is the corner that gets glued down. It can go up here. Oh, I guess I have to decide how I want it. Oh, see now you got that goofy. That still looks okay. You know, don't like that leaf going that way. The leaf has to go more this way. <laughs> nice. How old's your grandson? Hi, Barbara. Welcome, welcome. I am making clusters for the Swap and Beth's. Yeah, that I should have done it at the other corner, shouldn't I have? Can I move it? Is it still button up to move? It is. It is. Look at that. Almost. 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 Oh, I know why. It's because I wanted to cover up that white, right? But I'll, I'm going to switch it to this other corner. This corner. And I'll go down. No. That's still not doing much. Well, okay. We'll go like this. Like that. How are you enjoying the humidity, Barbara? Isn't it a beast? Barbara lives in the city nearest 
to where I live. And one day we're going to get together for coffee. I just need to get a vehicle that is safe enough for highway driving. Because my vehicle is a 2005 and it's a little bit old. Oh, see, now I can't see the tissue paper. There, turn. There we go. Now I can see it all. I will put some of those little, what are those, diamond dot things there. <laughs> awesome, Anne. One and a half. Wonderful. Ma, awesome. Yeah, I love grandkids. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it gives them joy and they like the tactile. And it's clean dirt, right? Like it's not, it's clean dirt. That's always been my thing. It's clean dirt, easy enough to clean up. So if I put this one here and the leaf down, there we go. There we go. Got that one figured. Yeah. Exactly, Barbara. Exactly. Exactly. But I mean, it's really early for us to have this kind of heat. Fun in the potting soil? That would be a blast. My grands were more into my crafting stuff because like I did with my kids, I had rolls of paper and I would cover the walls in rolls of paper and let them draw on the walls, etc. I also had a smooth fridge at the time, so they always could decorate my fridge with dry erase markers. So I always had original fridge art and then the fridge went the way of all things because it was well probably pretty darn old let's just say <laughs> and this fridge that I have now has a pebbly texture and so my youngest grandkids never got a chance to do that which is sad I do remember my daughter telling me, Mom, you can't let her do that. I had my grand, it was Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving or some silly thing. And I had a white tablecloth on the table and we had a chocolate trifle for dessert. And I let her finger paint on the tablecloth with the chocolate mousse. Much to my daughter's dismay. And then she just realized who she was talking to and rolled her eyes and said, whatever. <laughs> I am not a good influence on people's kids. Yeah. That's a great idea. Well, I mean, see, my cat, I paint on my walls, right? Like in my dining room, I have, it's not my dining room, it's my kitchen hallway thing. But I've got 78 hand-painted butterflies on that wall. In my bathroom, I have hot air balloons painted on the wall. In the basement, I've got baseboards and my bulkhead all painted as a town. So I paint right on my walls. So how could I stop the kids from doing it? Oh, yeah, military housing. That makes sense. Yeah. So 
So I wanted really nice flat. These are really nice and flat. I'm really pleased with how flat they actually are. I mean, it's paper. It's got bulk, but, you know. So now I'm going to put the dots down the edges of the leaves. I just have to decide what color. That's a fun cluster. Cluster, yes, no. Yeah. Why I made brown flowers is beyond me. Hot air balloons and butterflies. Mm -hmm. I can take pictures of them. I also have door painted. Let me see if I could. Oh, I don't even have my tablet down here. I can't even show you on my tablet. Because I do have pictures of them. Okay, Diamond Dogs. Yeah, I love my base boys too. When the boys were little, they, they would drive through like around town, right? Because there were all the buildings. Do I want to use greens? You know what? I need my glasses on because those all look like green to me. This green, because it kind of matches the brighter green, and well, no, it doesn't, but I kind of like it. I think I'm going to use those green, that green. You know, I am so fortunate that my husband lets me do this stuff, you know. He would phone me and say, what you doing? And it's like painting on the wall. Oh, cool. What are you painting? Nice, Beth, nice. One of the things that I have one grandchild that won't eat it, but the other three, anytime they slept over, they wanted surprise cereal. So I always had two or three different kinds of cereal. So then I would put like a teaspoon of chocolate chips on the bottom of the bowl, a little bit of Rice Krispies, um, maybe some marshmallows, like a, a tablespoon, like, they didn't get like a handful, a, a tablespoon of marshmallows and then some Cheerios and then maybe some whatever. Like I, I layered it with dried fruits and things and it was called surprise cereal. And to this day, my 17 year old grandson goes, Grammy, can you make me a bowl of surprise cereal to take home? And he has it in like a cool whip thing. So he does, can't see what's in there. And he always sends me the list of what he has found in his surprise cereal. But I never did the uh, wine glasses. I have a feeling that my boys would have been a little bit rougher with them than anticipated. But that is so cool. You know, it's these little memories that you give them that are so darn important. Okay. What should I put these diamond dots? Dot things in. I have. Nope. Nope. I need something like a little lid. I love creating special memories with kids. I really do. I think it's so important because when you're gone, that's what they're going to have is they're going to have the memories. It doesn't matter what else, but the memories are important. Sorry, guys, I'm just looking for a lid or something to put these dots in so that they're easier to clean up after. You would think in all this conglomeration, I would have something like that. Well, you know what? I'm just going to put it on a piece of paper. And then I can just fold it and put it back in. Okay, Jean Peter, be safe. Be safe, be safe. I will message you later and show you a picture. I have a picture to show you.
Stay safe. Stay safe. Okay, so I don't do diamond dots. I have the friend that came over with her kids last weekend brought these for me. So I have a really nice stack. Probably all these little bags of things. And now that she's doing junk journals, I bet she's thinking, darn, I should have kept some of those. But I know that I didn't get them all. Do any of you guys do diamond dots? I've never seen one complete in life like i've seen like the kits online that kind of thing but i've never seen i think it'd be pretty interesting i will watch that in a moment beth thank you And when you put them together, do you just use white glue? Like, I'm just using my Elmer's glue all because it's what I've got. And I haven't had any problem with them coming off so far, touch wood. Now, whoever my swap partner is, yes, I know, but it's a secret. Um... We'll have an envelope full of little diamond dot bits. Action springs. Those are cool. I kind of like it with the diamond dots on it. Hi, Sherry. Welcome, welcome. Do you like diamond dotting, Pam? Like, is it as relaxing as everybody says it is? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. The allergies with this fuzzy dust stuff out there is just brutal. So Pam, do you, what kind of glue, is it a special glue that you use for using these? And do diamond dot paintings take a long time? That's my other thing, because these are really fiddly little bits. Me too, Barbara. Me too. Like, I can do this little bits, but goodness. I really have to be in the right mood to do really tiny, fiddly stuff. I don't mind doing my Kim bits because I know that they're going to be done fast. But, man, I have projects that have taken years and you get to the point where it's like, I, I don't even want to do this anymore. Can I show your message? I don't have my tablet. If I had, I've got this screen that's in front of me that I watch. But I have a 32-inch screen attached to the wall 
that your message is on. Darn. You know what? Can you give me two seconds and I'll run upstairs and get my tablet. I'll be right back, guys. Honest, 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 I will. Because I don't run. It's never where you expect it to be. Okay, we'll start it up. And, and, that's, that's it first. Okay, uh, I think I ran into problems with this before. Oh, look, there's me. Hi. It's in a reflection because I think I have to turn that overhead light off. Do you guys remember? Okay. You don't do the counted cost it. I'm going to turn over this big overhead light and see if I can get rid of the glare. So I'm in the dark here, guys. You use Eileen's jewelry glue? Okay. Okay, here's Beth's. Oh, look at your guy. You've got googly eyes bouncing around. That's fun. Did you guys see that? Do I have to make it bigger? Let's try that again. Let's see if I can make it bigger. There we go. There we go. Oh, see, now I got crazy glare again. There. And there's me. That's fun. Those eyes are a blast. And this is the spring things she used for it. Wobbles. Wobbles. Okay, so you guys wanted to see my butterflies. Um, let's see if I can find them. Do, do, do. Pictures. I do have pictures. I was taking pictures of bees on my honeysuckles. You can't see it very good. But I really like those wobbly eyes you've got there. This one might be better. There's a bee. It's hard to see with this. I have another glare. That light I need on. Okay. Now we find the, but the butterflies. Butterflies.
Nope. 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 Go away. There's my mask I did yesterday. Okay. There's my butterflies. That's the uh, crown the four-year-old made me. Hi, Dad. Welcome, welcome. From our play date on Saturday. Those are the butterflies in my dining room. And... And... Come on. Huh. Well, I don't seem to have a picture of my hot air balloons and my door in here. So, sorry, I can't show you those, but I do draw. You saw that pic? Such fun. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. My daughter and I were talking about that this morning, about how much fun that I have with children. <laughs> she says, Mom, it's because you are a child. And it's like, thank you, dear. I love you. Lots and lots. Oh, the light was in the way. Oh, thanks, Barbara. <laughs> yeah, those butterflies, I painted them just after my granddaughter was born. She was she's 20 now so they were living with me when she was born and they went to British Columbia to meet her great grandparents and I painted the butterflies while they were gone so I said something the other day when one of my grandsons was here about you know having to paint the walls and stuff and he goes you can't paint over those butterflies And I said, why? Like, I'm, I'm not planning on it, but why? He says, you just can't. Like, this is your house. This is this is the way it's got to stay. And I just kind of laughed. But all the kids learned how to count on those darn butterflies. So, you know, it's got meaning to them. I had a lot of fun. But see, I have the kind of husband that is an absolute joy in my life because he just smiles and nods and just lets me do. So fortunate. Jan can attest to all the walls I have painted in my house. Oh, thank you. Jay, who are you? Sorry, I don't recognize just the Jay, but thanks, thanks. I am working on clusters. I am part of Beth's uh, group. I'm, I'm a member of her group on Facebook, and she is doing a swap this month on clusters. So I thought that I would play with some clusters and have a wide variety to choose from for what I would like to send to my partner. Oh, Jamie, welcome. Hi. Jamie is the one that gave me all these wonderful little bits. And I just showed off the picture of me and the crown that you took by the butterflies. Yeah, works fun, eh? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. And I was saying how much I enjoy playing with your kids. Like, oh my goodness. 
They're just delightful. And for the little guy to, he, you know, guys, four years old, and he lasted two and a half hours, and he stayed on task. It must be incredible, like absolutely incredible. No, Jan, that's hilarious. <laughs> so look, I'm using the diamond dots finally. They want to come back already? Huh. Of course. I love I would love that. I think the next time though we said that it's just you and me. Okay, so I've got these four. Those dots have to sit and dry. So I'm gonna put them to the side. I'm still trying to use up all these paper bits. These are... Thanks, Jan. I, um... The bits that the kids left on the table, Jamie, I have to show you. I started cleaning up after you guys left. And so I started making masks. So... I did a whack load of masks. Now I have so your kids inspired me to play with more bits. Surprise. Hi Pam. Yeah, you know, I've done them on many things. They do and they add that little bit of bling and they're small enough that they don't add bulk. You're getting a pizza oven? <gasps> oh, I'd love to have a pizza oven. Welcome, Pam. Stitch it, Pam. And made it, Pam. Made by Pam. Yeah. Well, they left all the bits on the table, right? So as I was cleaning up, it's, this goes in the garbage. This gets used and let's use it, right? So. <laughs> you know, you're journaling now. You probably got lots of uses for them yourself. Probably, probably. So I had an idea that I wanted to do some clusters with ladies' faces. Because I'm going to do that lady journal. So I had some white circles and I glued it. Glued white paper on the back. No, pink paper on the front. I had four. What the heck? Okay, I don't have four anymore. So while you guys are here, I am going to paint some faces. Because when I was live with Beth, I can. It's also on Meet Your Creativity. If you want to pop on there, there's a picture. Yeah, exactly, Anne. Look on the floor. I bet to anything. I don't have a cat, so it shouldn't be on the floor. <laughs> but you never know. It's, it's you know, I, I just cut circles with a whole punch. But when I was on the live with Beth yesterday and we were doing masks there, somebody said something about sunglasses. So I showed how I do my glasses. So what I do is when I cut holes, a lot of times I fold the paper and I have, you know, it doubled. So then I go from the folded side and I cut around the holes. And I make glasses out of the um, waste not want not, right? So then I have a pair of fun glasses to put on things. So I have stacks of glasses all over the place. I've got so I thought it would be kind of fun to do a cluster with ladies. 
for my lady journal for whenever I get around to it. So I'm going to start by painting eyes. You could do them with any paper and then you can decorate them. Because I'm thinking what I want to do with my ladies is I'm going to put these cool glasses on. And then I want to do like a little cluster of flowers. You know, it, it just never ends. My mind doesn't quit and that's just the way it is. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to just start when I do my ladies. However I do them, I always start by painting the eyes because they're in the middle of the head and that's kind of where it starts. So I'm just using a quarter inch flat brush. I don't know who made it. Yeah. I love my ladies. I have a lot of fun with doing ladies. Um, there's something. There is something. Oh, well, it'll come to me. So kind of look for the middle. And I just do little ovaly shapes. And you guys know that there's no in Hades that I'm going to get these eyes the same shape. I try. It just doesn't work. But nobody's eyes are perfect anyways. Nobody's got symmetrical. Just for the heck of it, my husband was playing in the paint program. And he took a picture of one of the grandkids. And he cut it in half and flipped it over so it was symmetrical. It looked like them, but you could really tell there was something really off about it. Really crazy off about it. So again, I am just painting like ovaly kind of things for the eyes. I didn't even get them centered on the face, but that's okay. And then I put my fingers in it. Awesome. Do I have water here? No. It's okay. We'll do this because I'm going to keep using this brush for now anyway. So I just painted two little blank eyes, two little blank eyes, and then I am going to take black. Just a little bit of black. And yes, I could do this with a marker or pen and ink or what have you, but because I have paint and it's wet, I'm going to use paint. Hey, Kel, welcome, welcome, and how are you feeling? So again, a uh, little liner brush. It is, I can't even read that, Artist Loft. It's an Artist Loft. I can't read the number. And I'm just using uh, Decoart Crafters Paint. And this one is just an acrylic. I don't know where it came from. It came from the supplies my neighbor gave me. So I'm not sure where she purchased them. So I'm going to outline the eye. All the eyes. How are you feeling, Kel? I'm glad you're here. Oh, really? That's, that's horrible. What? What? Like, I don't understand why. I don't understand how people could do that. That's just brutal, Kat. Just brutal. At least the staff is lovely. You know, you'd think that... Great co-workers.
Okay, so yeah, you can see the eyes are definitely not symmetrical, but that's that's perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned. Perfectly fine. So now I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to do not that brush. Yeah, nope. I'm going to use a Q-tip, cotton swab. Room to room search. Oh, excellent. And was it another patient, hun? And I'm just going to do black dot in the center of each eye. Oh, fantastic, Cal. How sweet is that? That's fantastic. So we got really, really big pupils. I just used a cute tip and did the black dots. Um, hair, lips. Oh, I didn't bring any hair colored paint. What have I got on hand here? I have purple and I have blue. Okay, we're gonna have funky ladies. I got another red, a darker red. Let's paint some lips. And I'm going to use this liner brush. Yeah, glue stuck all over my fingers. Sorry, guys. Rude. And I'm going to do a little kissy mouth. There are good people out there. There really are good people out there. And it's nice to know that there are good people out there. Yes, Kel, are you out of the hospital, hun? Okay. Well, I've got my fingers crossed for Monday, hun. Okay, so now I've got some lips. I need a little cup of water. I keep deserting you guys today. I'm sorry. I thought I was more prepared than I am. But two, I didn't expect those other clusters to go as fast as they did. Good for you, Cal. Good for you. Okay, so now I need some sort of hair. Um, we can do black hair. Black and purple. So I've got the black. A little bit more black. Let's do black and blue hair. That'll be nice. So what I'm going to do is the same thing I've done in the past. I'm going to dip the brush in the blue and just a little corner in the black. We're going to do some hair. Dip it in the blue, corner of black. This is construction paper I am working on. 
So it just sucks stuff up and is, you know, kind of hard to work on with some things because it, it just doesn't want to cooperate nicely. And all I am doing is like an S shape. I need just a little bit more black in there. Thanks, Jen. So I'm going to do their hair all basically the same with the blue little bit of black. This one I'm going to do curly, so I'll just be doing like circle things. So they could be triplets almost or something. Do a redhead? I can definitely do a redhead. You know what, Barbara? I had purple hair when my eldest daughter was about a year old. It was before people had hair that like that. And I swore once I became a grandmother, I would dye my hair blue. But I mean like a, a vibrant, vibrant blue. Because my grandmother always used to get a blue wash in her hair. And I figured that grandmothers needed that. But I just kind of figure, why do I want to kill my hair with that when it's already thinning, etc.? You know what I mean? So I haven't, but I would love to do my hair in blue. I really would. I really, really would. And I will definitely do a redhead because I have quite a few gingers in my family. Lavender and pink, nice. This was before people were really doing that. And I had a girlfriend who worked as a hairdresser. So she offered to do this. It was called cellophane way back, way, way back. 1981, 1981, early 82. And bye, Beth. Love and hugs to you too. Thanks for coming. I will post pictures on your page too. And I linked your group's uh, thing down below. So if anybody wants to join Beth's group, it's listed below. <laughs> awesome, Barbara. So, hey. And it was on top of a fresh perm that she did this. And so it went this violent purple, uh, fluorescent purple. Like I glowed under fluorescent lights. And, and uh, the owner of the shop came in and he was so thrilled. He goes, oh, darling, you match my chairs. It, it was like this, like this magenta e, whatever. I had so much fun with it, much to my husband's dismay, because he is a redhead. And we did kind of clash. And we have a friend who 
is really off the wall, but he refused to be seen with me. Like we had to go out shopping for some reason. He was with me or he took me and he wouldn't even walk down the same aisle with me. And I remember walking past the staff room in the store that we were at. And I heard them say, oh, did you see that lady's hair? And they go, no, it was a hat. And so they had to come running out and look. It was fun. Barney shade? All right. That's fun. Okay, so I'm going to use the red with just a little hint of black. And I think that's going to be curly too because my red heads. Oh, no, they aren't all curly haired. One of the poor deers has straight hair just like her mama. Yeah, I was with Jer, Jan, and yeah, brutal. He would not be seen with me, would not walk down the same aisle with me, waited for me, like finished doing what he was doing, went out to the car. Hilarious, absolutely hilarious. So again, I'm just doing like curly circle hair kind of thing. Him approved. Oh yeah, Jared approved. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Yes. Definitely is an interesting gentleman. Definitely, definitely. He's been my husband's best friend since they were in kindergarten. And we're in our 60s. So they've been friends for a very long time. Red enough, Stacy? You know, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to find that other pink face. But that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of water down, and I'm just going to take a little bit of red and mix it in until I get just a lighty pinky red -ish shade, just so you can do a wash. Why was he staring at him, Barbara? I'm just going to give her some fun pink cheeks. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, so I have myself some painted ladies. I didn't give them any eye color because I hadn't decided what I really wanted to do. So I'm just going to take a green marker and give this beautiful redhead green eyes. So I'm just going around the pupil with the green marker. And we'll give this one. I've got a blue somewhere. I know I've got a blue somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> See? Then I would have matched my husband.
Yes, Daisy, I think I would be too. <laughs> and this is a brown, maybe. We'll give this one brown eyes. Yeah, it's brown. And yeah, I could have painted that, but then I'd have to go and get more paint. And I've left you guys alone a lo long time, as is. Eyebrows. Forgot the eyebrows. Gotta have eyebrows. And... Well, I get that should have been black eyebrows. Well, Kim, shame on you. Eyebrows. This one's got red eyebrows. She's still pretty wet. Blue eyebrows. That one's got to have blue eyebrows too. Nice natural brown color. That was even worse though than the Ronald McDonald red though, wouldn't it be? Like, I miss having fun hair. Okay, so now let's do some eyelashes. We'll do some black eyelashes. My father-in-law was mortified that I had purple hair. I think he's the one that took it the worst. He <laughs> could, yeah. Oh, those are a little thick. It's okay. It's okay. I used to have a clown outfit. I wonder what ever happened to that. Okay, now I'm going just to take my Bic pen. This isn't my Bic pen. This is my Bic gel gelosity. It's a 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Yeah, you really can't sweat the little things like that. I've learned that in my many years. Wow, those pink cheeks really disappeared. Gonna have to do another uh, round around the cheeks because they're just non existent. And of course, it's up to you for how detailed you want to do faces. I could leave them like this. We all know that that's not going to happen because it's me. Let's do some more faces. That's awesome, Cal. 
I'm so glad you got your supplies replaced. So glad for you. Yeah, now maybe that's a little bit too bright. That's okay. It's okay. Now, we need a little bit of sparkle in the eye, so we just need a little bit of dot. Yes, exactly, exactly. Bonus new supplies, yeah, for sure. All right, so I've got them to this stage. And yeah, I know faces aren't totally round. Are they blurry? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gray pencil, a gray pencil, Thanks, Jen. And I'm going to go underneath the eyes. Just to give them a little bit of depth and just over the eyes. Same thing, a little bit of depth. And around the hair. Normally, I would do this with some gray paint just a, or a black wash of paint, but it's just as easy to use a pencil crayon. And let's just do underneath the bottom lip a little bit. Just gives it a little bit of definition. Probably would help if the pencil was sharpened a bit. Ah, oh, thanks, Kel. see if this is any better. That's better. As I said, I'm going to turn these into clusters. This is going to be the focal point of the cluster. They're going to have glasses. These big glasses. Not sure if I'm going to use that blue-green paper or if I'm going to cut new ones. Kel, I know you did nails. Did you do, like, makeup and stuff, too? Because I can just imagine how... People who do makeup and things going, no, you don't do the eye shadow that far over. Because sometimes my ladies look like Mimi from uh, the Drew Carey show. Whatever the heck that was. What was that? You know who I'm talking about? She had blue eye shadow all the way up to her hairline. Hair and nails. Okay. Okay, so I think that that's how I'm going to leave the ladies. Although I think I think I want a little bit of white highlights in the hair. Guys, I, you know, I just need a little bit.
moving in sin with the safety pin. I don't know that song either. Barb. Are you playing Stump the Kim? Not hard to do. Thanks, Barbara. Just a little bit of white highlight because I think they just need a little bit of something. Probably with the red hair, I should have done like a, uh, no, I like the white. It's going good. On the Drew Carey show. I remember the show to a point. I remember Mimi. I loved Mimi. Because she was always so off the wall. And I liked that. So I think the white really helped. So I've got these. My hands are a little damp, so they don't want to stay nice. I think they might be just a little big. I think I want to go a whole size smaller. That is a one inch hole. I'm going to go down to this one, which is a five eighths inch hole. Now I just have to find bigger. Oh, nice. That one I recognize. I do, I do, I do. Um, would that make good glasses? Or should I do plain ones and doodle them? Let's try this. Let's try this first. So take a piece of paper, fold it in half. Punch the holes. Oh, look, I've got more circles to play with. Come out, come out. Now we're going to cut the glasses. Get out of my way. And I want to do cat eye glasses. I always do the little point on the corner. And you could, of, of course, cut them as thick or as thin as you like. Right? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look at those wild glasses, guys. What do you think? Do I need a lighter color, a brighter color? Because um, I think this side kind of gets lost in her hair. Did 
They're fine. Okay, I'm going to find a brighter color to do the next pair with. I have a whole box of pinky papers here. I've got this bright orange. Orange could be fun. Okay, and fold it in half. It doesn't matter if it's got an edge like that. I'm just going to fold it to the painted part anyway. Pull, punch the hole first. These ones, put them on the red hat. Oh, yeah. I like it. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. That's awesome. I like them on the redhead. You're right. Design glasses. <laughs> yeah, no. Could be fun. But, and again, you know, I just wobble cut, guys. I just cut because freehand what I do. You know that. Oh, those are lovely. Lovely orange glasses. Come on. Yes, no. I think I want an even brighter color I've got. Brighter colors of paper. I have like a bright, bright, you know what? I've got this bright, bright yellow, but it's a cardstock. I should have some of that in, in my junk drawer. Papers as a paper. That's like one of those fluorescent yellow papers. What one Just paper like that. Why is it all green stuff? I have a fluorescent yellow, but you'd think I would have scraps. Sorry, guys. Look at the yellow. There we go. I have this fluorescent yellow plain paper. Both, Barbara. Both. And when I put them on whatever background I am, because it's they're supposed to be clusters, right? I think I'm gonna use these little diamond dot bits and give them a necklace. And maybe I'll put a few on the glasses. Oh yes. Just like at the corners. This one. These ones are just going to be round, just round. No cat's eye, just round. Well, as round as I can freehand cut. I like it. The first one, put them on the first one. They're okay, just not whimsical. What isn't whimsical? What isn't whimsical about these? I'm not done yet. <laughs> Not quite done yet. Um, I have I have uh, 
I know, Cal. Don't look, hon. Hmm. Maybe not hearts. Maybe. What about doing them like on a corner tuck? So it's an upper corner tuck. And then I could do the flowers. I don't know. Hearts, corner tucks. Um, oh, what about... How about I have lots of bits to choose from? We'll just put your here for the redhead. I could do them on ATC. And then it could be like a pocket. I could do a cluster, an ATC cluster pocket. I could. Ah, oh, thanks, Cal. Thank you, thank you. So I could have them on fun ATCs. I think that one's just a little too wild to put around. I do that. So what do you prefer? Hearts, corner tucks, ATCs, one of each. One of each. The pocket? The pocket. Okay. We'll do the pocket. The corner pocket or the ATC pocket? Okay, ATC pocket it is. Put this stuff away. All right, so we've got the lady. I'm going to glue the glasses down because I think that's a good idea to do now so I don't lose them. Corner. <laughs> Let's outline them in black first because we want them to punch. I can do another set on corners. Cal, I can. So I'm just outlining them with that ancient smelly old marker that I've got. I did match to use up that other one that I had. Bottom corner, not top corner, but it was, well, I could do top corner, bottom corner. It could be anything. All right, Pam, I'll have to check that out. I will check that out. Yeah, I feel like I've been missing an awful lot of videos lately. Been working in the yard in the mornings while it's cool. Got part of the garden in, and then we had a rain and hail storm, and my poor peppers and tomatoes were just flattened. But they bounced back, so that's a good thing, because, well, I mean, I do have more in the greenhouse that I can replace them with. I just didn't really want to have to do the work again. You know how that is. 
but I still have three beds to plant, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so are we doing corners or ATCs? I can do bottom corners, I can do top corners. Pretty much, Barbara. I actually got up and was out planting before 6 in the morning because it's so. Bottom corner? Okay. So I will pull those back out right away as soon as I finish blackening these glasses. Yeah. Here we go. So those are edged. Ready to have dots or whatever drawn on them. Okay, so I have these. Let's put this wet paint out of the way because we all know I'm going to dip into it. I have these. Let's get rid of the ATCs, those glasses. Oh, yeah, I was going to glue those glasses down first. Well, ETC blanks go in here. Trying to stay organized, guys. Look at this. These have some, uh, what is that? Texture paste on them. But I have more in the bin. So then I'm going to come around with that black bic, and I'm definitely going to outline these because it will punch them out a little bit and give them that bit more depth. Again, I'm just using my Elmer's glue. Sorry, I'm not even gluing on screen here. Bad, Kimmy, bad. Hey, Teresa, welcome, welcome. I am playing clusters. I did the ones, well, I did the ones that I think are for Beth Swap. Haven't quite decided. And then I decided that I want to do some lady clusters because I want to do a journal with all my ladies. Because I have lots of plans and I'm just building up stuff to go in them. So the wonderful peeps in the chat have been talking me through stuff. So these are the clusters I did for the swap. I did them like floral and woven paper. And as I say, I'm not sure if those are going to be what I use them for or not. So I have these corners. Are these going to kind of blend in too much? What do you think? I'll go around these in black as well and see if it punches them out some. that better? So I've got those. I have these. What else have I got? Oh, thanks. 
a lot of my corner tucks are really small. Oh, what are these ones? I have these. Oh, I have these ones, but they've got modeling paste on them, and they're mucky mess. Not, not a big fan of those. Got some green ones, just plain green, which could work because that way it's not detracting from the ladies. Because I was going to put some flowers, right? What do you think about the plain green, guys? Solid works. So I can always cut different colors, right? Should I do green or should I cut something else? Ah! Silliness. Silliness, silliness. Let's grab the... Let's put this back first. And pull out the bin of plain paper. I love it when you guys give me direction. I find it very beneficial. So, I've got this green. All the single ladies, yeah. I've got that green. I've got this bright yellow. I really like that bright yellow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yellow, green. The other stuff is construction paper, and I'd rather use something... Yellow glasses, yellow paper, okay. So this one has green and yellow glasses. Yes, no, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Got a nice blue. That's a little small. I'm sure I've got a bigger piece in here. I have all sorts of sized flowers, Stacy. What about the purple? I like that on the purple. Okay, so I like the purple, I like the yellow. That green's okay. It's another green. I think I like this green. Green, yellow, and purple. Purple and red. Purple and red. Okay, purple and red. That'll be hers. That'll be hers. Yes, no. Okay, Teresa. Anyone? Yes. Okay. Got the colors. Oh, you can go away too. Wrong drawer. All right. So, since these are supposed to be clusters, and they are going to be clusters when I'm done, ladies, honestly, they will be clusters when I am done. I'm going to, that's a really thick piece of cardstock, which is awesome. This is also, these are all cardstock, so I don't even have to put a backing page on them. Just cut corners. Yeah, let's just do a wobble cut, because we know I love my wobble cuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
yellow. Yellow. Hmm. Now, do I want it to go this way or this way? I'm going to go kitty corner. Thanks, Barbara. Take care, hon. Have a wonderful weekend. And because it's a cluster, and even though it's a corner tuck, I can have it going off the edge and still just glue down the corner part. Oh, look, I didn't put these away. Well, well now. This one's just going to be a big, big one. All right. So, I need... I need, I need something fun underneath them. Because they're ladies. Should I do lace? No. There's going to be flowers around and some leaves. What about... little piece of this fabric just sticking out a little bit is it too close to the glasses color yeah the color stripes i have on the table i can do that too something like that that's that purple i could do a yellow Something geometric in stripes like this. Oh, look, this kind of matches her hair. Do I have a pattern for the glasses? No, I will show you how I do the glasses. I take a piece of paper, just any kind of paper. This one I used my painty papers for. This one was just plain paper. So I take the paper and I fold it in half. Then I take a hole punch. Doesn't matter what size hole punch. Doesn't matter. I do little ones with just a regular sized hole punch. I do huge ones like this. You could do bigger ones, whatever. So then you take it and you just punch your holes on the folded paper. So you have the fold. What? Well, let's do that on candid. So you have the fold. Then you just take a pair of scissors and you go around the glasses. Around the hole. And when you unfold it, you have glasses. So you can do any shape glasses you like. You have the holes already done. They glue down perfectly. Like if you look, you really cannot see where the fold was. Okay, so. Let's do this with some purple. I like the purple on that. Let's do a purple and a green and a blue. That one's yellow, blue, and blue. And this is orange and yellow. And what? Orange, yellow, and this blue, this light blue. And then I'm going to use 
this green across twice. No, once, once. And then this blue across. Sort of like that, Stacy. I've got that green, blue, green. This one would have to have orange and this green across and this green across and and hmm, orange, I guess. That one needs orange or purple, purple. You do one across. The reason I want to do two across is so that it's an odd number. I like to work in odd numbers. I'll glue the up and down ones first, and then we'll take a look at it. Yes, no? You're welcome, Teresa, if I didn't say that. I like to try and make all my own stuff because I have so much stuff to make stuff with. No, I'm not measuring. <laughs> if you're OCD, look away. Just look away. You'll be much happier. Let's cut this down a little bit. Whoa. Thanks, Jen. It's all play, right? Like, I just, it's all play to me. All play. Blue. Oh, straighten that out. Well, it's not quite straight. It's better than it was. I have to outline these other ladies before I put them down as well. I have to remember to do that. Bright orange over here. You know, these ladies here would also make great balloons. Like if I had them up in the corner of a page with strings coming down. And if the glue spots that I've got are a little bit on the shiny side, I'm going to come back and just doodle over them with a purple gel pen so that they kind of fade into the, you don't see the glue spots as much. I guess I could have woven those, too. That would have been cute. Too late. Not doing it. One or two. One, two. Or she could be down here and I could do flowers up those. One, still just one. Dad says two. We'll leave her there and you guys can look at her. We'll put these. <laughs> we need a tiebreaker. Hmm. 
Nobody wants to be a tiebreaker? Anyone in the peanut gallery want to be a tiebreaker? Up in the balcony? Just fits. So then I'm going to take this. You decide. Thanks. I can decide. I'm going to use this one because it's already cut. You was you were coloring across on this one. Do I do two stripes at the bottom or one? Pam says one. That could be our tiebreaker. Cal and Teresa both say two. Ha! I love it. The twos outweigh it. Sorry, Stacy. Sorry, Pam. Unless anybody else pipes in. We have three twos and two ones. You're distracted, okay. All right, Teresa, I've had those often. I like it too across. I have to admit, I really do. It's that odd number thing that I've got fixated in my brain. I have a friend who is a floral designer and it's all about the odd numbers. It's more pleasing to the eye, evidently. So that's how she would be. I don't know if I want a thin one like this. Yeah, why not? It's okay, you're distracted. Oh, I could put little bows in their hair. Yeah. She said three, five, seven. Any more than seven, you can use even numbers. I'm trying to do it reasonably straight. Probably if I'd have gone at an angle, I wouldn't have worried about it because then it's at an angle. But no, I had to go perpendicular. Hey, word of the day, perpendicular. So does anybody have fun plans for the weekend? You doing any family stuff, Jan? Pam? Stacy, I'll let you decide on flowers, okay, Stacy? <laughs> I know, I hear you going, rude. I hear it. It's okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah. You're going to a garden show? Nice. Very nice. So, 
Now the thing is flowers or bows in the hair. I could do flowers up, which is kind of more my trademark than bows. Oh, Teresa, I hope you get outside too to enjoy some fresh air. Being sick is never fun. Oh, that's definitely not fun. Definitely not fun. Yeah, 3.5 by 2.5 ATCs. I think it was this one that I had. Yeah. I have decks of cards I could use. I found, though, with the decks of cards that I have, they're quite plasticized, and sanding them really, really bothers my breathing, like I have breathing issues. So I haven't sanded them. I might just have to just straight gesso them or use a stronger glue. Gesso. Floating heads. I've got floating heads. No nets, just floating heads. It's okay. Kind of like that. Yeah, I tried sanding on the side that I'm going to glue on, but it really, it, it, it does irritate me. So, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to do the gesso for sure. Because I need more things to glue on to. I think, too... Because I have so many ATC blanks already cut out. Because when I trim a lot of my gel prints, I cut them into sizes to use. Um, so I'm not using playing cards. I'm, I'm using, I'm trying to use this step up. Okay, no. I appreciate you guys being here and keeping me company while I do this and giving me feedback. I really appreciate that. Ah, Kaka. Well, that glue smeared just heavenly, blee, mucky. Crap. 
Yes, I said crap under my breath. You didn't hear that. Nice. I love doing ATCs too. ATCs are fun, Ma. Like, and it's so much fun to swap them and see how other people do things. I get a blast out of when there is a themed ATC swap. And just seeing how everybody else interprets the theme. Stacy, do you run any swaps or anything? I'm doing Beth's cluster swap for this month. Obviously, because that's why I did those other clusters today. Faces would be a good one. Yeah. Kind of looking forward to Beth's tiki mask swap. If she does one. That was fun playing with the ladies last night. I had planned on setting this up as a stream yard today. But I'm so used to just going to YouTube and setting it up. But I think on... Fridays, I'm going to set up StreamYard so that people can come and visit if they would like. The way Stacy has it. I hope that doesn't offend you, Stacy, that I would be kind of copying you on that one. I might do it so that I would have a theme. Like if I want to do corner tucks, like corner pockets, that we're all doing corner pockets, which could be annoying to some people. StreamYard, Jan, is, it just allows other people to join in by invitation onto like my chat that you could have what, up to six people six additional people playing and we all have our own little windows to use. So we're all doing our own thing, but we're all showing together. So if I did that through here, if I did StreamYard next week on Friday, it would still be a YouTube, my channel. It would still be showing on my channel kind of thing. Okay, so, ladies, I'm this far. I'm this far. So now I need to do clusters. Turn these into clusters. So that's three layers. Um, I don't think the flowers would be trapped. Okay, Pam. Oh, yay. Okay, good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I think it would be. I think it would be fun. 
So then I would post, I usually post at 10.30 ish on my group, Meet Your Creativity, that I'm going live at 12.45. And I would put down working on corner tucks or working on three by four cards or working on postcards kind of thing. Does that make sense? Okay, Pam, take care. I'll watch your video shortly. Um, or we could do like ATC coins or whatever, you know, like just something fun, whether we do faces or if we do flowers or borders, you know, or if I'm doing a prompt along, like I'll pull something out of a hat and post it. This is kind of what we're doing. All right. Cool, cool. Then I'm going to do that for next Friday. That's going to be the Friday plans. Friday, it'll be frolicking Fridays. I like it. I like it. Okay, so now flowers. What kind of flowers do I want? They just have to be little flowers. I don't really want to detract too much, but just like a little swoopy of flowers. Do you think the flowers would be too much? Like, I don't know, guys. Let's pull out some little flowers. Where's my bin of flowers? Those are jigsaw puzzle, jigsaw puzzle pieces. No. Flowers. She does. Every day at her place, Stacy has um, people on with her. It's lovely. It's lovely to see what everybody's creating. But they're all working on their own thing. I don't know if I want to do like a little bouquet kind of thing at the bottom. It is, Jan. It is. These are the odd flowers that I get left over from when I'm doing one of my floral cards. Some of them. Uh, let's do three different ones on each. Three different ones on each. Newsprint? I. Mm, newsprint. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking. Where do I have newsprint? I'm going to leave those flowers out. I have some leaves in here, too. I'll drag that out when I'm doing some leaves to put behind them. Newsprint. I like the idea of some newsprint. Although I don't have newsprint, but, but, where is that book? I have this fill-it-in numbers book that I could put, like, a couple of numbers and then the flowers with the thing and her on top.
What about little groups and numbers, Stacy? I like it. I have a page ripped out already. Over here. No, that's a different kind of page. We need one of these. Oh, newsprint and big pencils, they look like sec they do look like secretaries or librarians. Oh, librarians, where are my little books? Oh. Where are my books? Rats. I just did all those things with books on them. Oh look, more flowers. There's my books. How about if I do like little stacks of books? Do a, a, a thing, a clump of numbers with a stack of books on top. Would that be okay? And then I could do a pencil. You're right, I can do pencils. I've got, I'll cut some thin yellowish and turn them into pencils. Books, yes, no. Yeah. I should have enough books to do with stacks of books on them. Feedback, ladies, books. Are books okay, Stacy? Need to make more books. Lots of flowers. So if I do this and a stack of books at the bottom, like a pile of books, and then if I did pencils to be sticking out of their hair, and then I could put just a little flower at the corner of their glasses. Yes, no? Pencils. Numbers, books, pencils. I need pencils. What can I use for pencils? What about? What about? That's kind of pencil color, isn't it? I could cut some pencils out of that. Sure.
Uh, are any of my mods here? Any of my mods? Stacy, can I make you a mod? And you can put your channel in, hon? Stacy, I'm making you a mod. Okay, Stacy, I turned you blue, I believe. So we're going to make pencils. So we've got to make them so that they're kind of round at the bottom. And they got to have a pointy tip. Thanks, Cal. Now, if I take my black marker and I make this black, make a pencil lead, and that end needs to be pink for an eraser. That's orange. That's pink. Does that look like a pencil? All right. So then what I'm going to do, well, two pencils or one pencil behind her? We just need one pencil, you think? Let's finish one and see what we like. So if I take the pencil and put it behind her. Oh, she could also be a teacher then, couldn't she? And then let's put the books down. I might have to make some more books. That's not a book. Not ignoring you guys. I'm thinking. I'm concentrating here. I could. I've got this pink over here. I've got little scraps. I can make erasers. And then if I take running out of room, you wouldn't believe how much space I've got here. Yep, yeah, number two or HB. Um, black, black pen.
off like that and turn like this. And numbers. Can't see the number two. We need to see the number two. This and some numbers. And a flower in her hair. Trying to hold her up. Okay, Jan, take care, hon. Love you. What do you think? That's going to work. All right. Let's glue the pencil down. She could be a teacher then too, right? Like I want to black this. So I'm going to take this and just put a little bit of glue up here so I can tuck it under her. Like that. Now we're gonna glue this down. Got to have the number two showing and the eraser part of the pencil and this, the numbers and her head and the stick down. Come on, stick. So yeah, she could be a teacher. She could be a librarian. She could be a secretary. Do I need a couple of more books on there, do you think? Nothing like over doing. I like it. I like it. All right. That's number one. Now, another pencil. I'm going to need to make more books.
Well, I appreciate all the feedback and input. And this pencil eraser is really worn down. This one's been making lots of mistakes. College student, yeah. And again, number two. This one, make it a little bit rounded. Okay, so we've got this, and we have a number two pencil. We've got her numbers. We need some numbers. Numbers. This is fun. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate input. It would be kind of fun if I had like a whole scrolly thing of numbers. I would have to draw that. Like that? Oh, yeah. And then some books. One, two, three. Oh, those are the same. I'm going to swap that one with this one. And I'm going to put them over this sucky glue mark over here. Got all these little strips of paper. I guess those would be perfect for me making more books. They're already cut nice and thin. I just have to do them up. Oh, this one's not. Oh, there we go. I it on the wrong side. Bunch of books. So I had, how did I have you? I had you so that you were there. A little bit more like this. Like that. We have a wonderful feral cat who has been keeping our rabbit and squirrel population under control, or had been. The cat's still around, but um, noticed the other day that there were two rabbits playing in and out of my garden beds. I have raised bed gardens. And they were just up and down and up and down and chasing each other through my bedding plants. Not too pleased with that. So I'm hoping that it's going to start looking after those crazy playful ones. 
because I certainly don't need to lose more produce to the rabbits than necessary. And a flower. This flower or this flower. This flower. This flower. I kind of like this flower. All right. Oh my goodness, I've been on for three hours. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So I am going to sign off and do this other one. I want to make a few more books and then I'm going to outline them all with the black pen and edge this with the black marker. Oh, see, I didn't edge this, these ladies with the black marker and I was going to do that. Getting too carried away too fast. So thank you very much for being here, everybody. I appreciate all your input and it's been a blast and have a wonderful evening and tomorrow and I will see you on Sunday. Take care, everyone. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Bye, all.